prepare to be bedazzled because today another NFB epic doubt is slated to commence. Nickelodeon Super Bowl 3 just got real. Without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination, let's allow the frivolities, antics, and trivialities to commence. Here we go. Who will prevail? Who will falter? Who will emerge triumphant? Stay tuned because I'll keep you abreast of the play-by-play. Today, the illustrious, notorious, renowned, iconic, revered, legendary, venerated SpongeBob SquarePants was pitted up against Patrick Starr. Is Patrick Starr going to martyr me, maim me, mutilate me, mingle me, brutalize me, ravage me, decimate me, subdue me, and incapacitate me? Will he clobber me to death, pummel me to death, thrash me to death, and pulverize me into submission? Will he render me a decedent, a cadaver, or a carcass? We will find out soon. Stay tuned. Am I poised to succumb to defeat? Or am I primed to prevail? We will find out soon, stay tuned. My victory prospects are bleak, grim, and infinitesimal. I must not despair, I must not lose esperance. Patrick Starr is not deemed to be an inexorable juggernaut. Is he deemed to be a divine ambrosial, celestial warrior? No. He's vulnerable to succumb to defeat. He's not impervious to damage. His defenses are not inviolable, nor unassailable, nor insuperable, nor impregnable, nor impenetrable. SpongeBob SquarePants managed to trounce Patrick Starr in a tussle. SpongeBob SquarePants has prevailed in the scuffle. I hope that you are enthralled, bedazzled, regaled, mesmerized, amused, fascinated, floored, entertained, and of course, entrenched in the unalloyed epicness. I hope that you deem this video to be Emily engrossing and no facets. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.